I'm Francesca Simon and my new book is called The Sleeping Army, which was inspired by the Lewis Chessmen who are with us today here at the British Museum. Here I am in the presence of three of my main characters in my book. It's always lovely for an author to meet face to face people that she's been writing about. I have been fascinated by the Lewis Chessmen since I first saw them in the 70s when I was a student. I did Anglo-Saxon at Oxford and I used to have a big poster of them in my room and I think what always interested me about them was their little glum faces. They have these downturned mouths and I always used to wonder why are they so unhappy? It's hard to describe because it's like meeting your own character face to face and I, what I wasn't expecting was that they, that they would seem so alive, not just because I've written a book about them, but just in themselves. They have so much weight and depth. And the more you look at them, the more you see, like the fact that the queen is always looking a little bit to the side. It's very difficult to kind of get her to look at you. She won't look at you. You have this real sort of sense of you're connecting to the past, the people who made them, the people who hid them, their whole mysterious story, because that's the other thing about the chessmen that's quite interesting, is that no one actually knows that much about them. A lot of it is speculation, which of course is great for me as a writer, because I can just invent what I want, but they are quite mysterious, and I think they hold a lot of mystery just looking at them now. Obviously these are incredibly precious, so I'm going to put some gloves on so that I have the great pleasure and privilege of holding them in my hands. The one I'm going to pick up is the berserker. And the berserkers were, were terrifying warriors. And they've given us our English word berserk. To go berserk comes from them. Berserker, they think, means bear shirt. And there was talk that they never wore armor and that they just ran amok. And people were terrified of them because they, they went into a kind of battle trance and they were impervious to pain and they just ran in and just killed anything that moved. Now the queen, of course, has got this lovely, heavy body, and she, she's the, probably the most beautiful of all the pieces. I mean, she's got this wonderful, expressive face and these kind of odd, staring eyes. And what, to me, what they always looked like is not just unhappy, but almost shell-shocked. So that something pretty terrible has happened. And in my book, what I have create is that they were actually all living people who have been frozen as a sleeping army by the god Woden. And, um, you know, the tremendous, that was a big part of the book, was working out, like, what's the great threat? And in my book, it's that the gods are old and dying. And it's the, um, the sleeping army's job to find the apples that, uh, that used to keep them alive and young, bring them back to the gods before the gods die. So they have quite an important mission, um, but um, I don't know how happy they were about being frozen. <laughs>